Hey guys, Bree here from BA Fishing. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're fishing the backwaters of Florida. The offshore conditions are wild, winds blowing 20, so we're gonna try to hide from that wind. And I am going to be targeting the elusive freshwater snook. I have an arsenal of artificials. We're gonna try our luck. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. All right guys, so I have a topwater, a twitch, and a swim bait. The water's really low, so I'm thinking a top water is gonna be a good option for today. I'm gonna start off with that swim bait though because it's been successful back here. It looks so much like a live fish. And if you guys see this swim in the water, it's incredible. So I don't wanna really lose drag in this spot because I know there is a log sticking out um, to the right there. And I wanna be able to control the fish, especially if it's a snook. Do we want to take any bets on how many lures I'm going to lose today? <laughs> I'm going to stay through. Oh! <laughs> we got a hit. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I didn't get to see it, but there's a little bit of a shine. So I'm pretty sure there's a gar in here because he kept like swirling up at the top. I got another hit. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it take it a little bit more next time, but this is promising. Oh. As soon as it hit the water, like that's ridiculous. Okay, so hopefully it's following. Okay, fish on, fish on. Don't spit it. Fish off. Maybe we should have guessed how many fish are gonna get off. <laughs> Before I land one, that's three. Okay, fish on. <laughs> yes. Oh, what is it? It's a bass. Oh, it's a good bass. Heck yeah. I don't know what was hitting me before, but it wasn't as big as this, so. I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Heck yeah. Bass number one. Oh, is there another little bass? It's a baby bass. <laughs> You're the size of my offshore bait. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at spot number two. We're trekking through the wilderness here. We've had some run-ins with spider webs and it is wild back here. It is absolutely beautiful. This is untouched Florida. You can see the cypress knees and just this beautiful scenery. Um, and it's quiet back here. We're protected from the wind. It's beautiful. One of my favorite places to come fish. Um, and you know, when you have that weekend off and you're like, I'm so excited to go fishing and conditions don't agree and you're just like, where can I go? Try to find a spot like this, you know, go on those hikes, go find those trails, test waters you haven't fished before because you might find a spot like this. And I am so happy that I'm able to get some fishing in today. Fish on, fish on. Get out, get out, get out. Ooh, okay. That is one of those alien fish. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I used to call it a sucker fish, but it definitely has teeth, so it's not a sucker fish. I think somebody said it was a goby sleeper or something like that. Guys, if you know what this is, please comment <laughs> below because this thing is wild and they're big. So if they're gobies, I don't know, I've always thought gobies were small, but I might have to switch from my swim bait to a topwater to specifically target snook, but we're gonna keep trying with this swim bait for a little bit more. Oh, baby snook, baby snook, baby snook. <laughs> All right, we got a snook on the swim bait. It's, it's like the tiniest snook ever, but it counts as a snook. Now there's different kind of species of snook. I am no expert. I know there's like a fat snook, a sword spine, a regular snook, I think. You guys probably know more than I do about this if you're from Florida and you fish. Tell me, what kind of snook is this one? I know it's a baby. Is it a baby's fat snook? 
I don't know, but it's really cute. <laughs> Oh, that's my swim bait. No. I can see it. I got it. <laughs> I would have gone in for that one. It's like a foot deep. And I haven't seen any gators yet today. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Oh! Did you see that? That was like as soon as it was in the water. <laughs> it's crazy. I didn't even, I barely twitched that thing. What is it? Bass? I got a bass back in here too. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> bass number three on the swim bait. It's a good, it's like a good little fishing day. See ya. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I've lost so many lures to this tree. Um, I'm going to get that thing. So um, we, we have to come up with a name for this tree because I swear every single time I've been here, it has claimed one of my lures. Um, but my thing is, if I can see it, I'm going to go try and get it. Uh, there is a snag right underneath this tree too that has claimed even more of my lures. But this is my swim bait that has been working the whole time and I only have one. So um, I'm going to try to get it back. This is probably the furthest down in the tree it's ever been. But um we're gonna give it a try. I don't know, but I'm probably... It was probably a good 85% chance that I could go swimming. So... Here we go! Got it. <laughs> Let's catch some more fish. <laughs> hey, we're back in business. <laughs> a little, little detour there. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm in the water, I'm okay. Oh gosh, I thought that was another. <laughs> the hat, bass number four. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not losing this swim bait. Oh, that might be it. Or it might be foul hooked. It's foul hooked, I think. What is it though? Oh no. It's a gar, but it's foul hooked. But it's still a gar. That's how you hook a gar though. <laughs> Careful, they have teeth. <laughs> Such a cool fish. They're really hard to catch because look how narrow that mouth is and super hard to get through. But I think I've been getting hit by his buddies all day. Finally got him. <laughs> We're gonna get him back in the water. <laughs> you can see him swim off. I'm like so nervous to cast under that tree now. <laughs> oh yeah, money. No, 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 not a stag. That's a fish. It might be foul hook. Or it might be big. <laughs> I think this is a good fish. And I think it might be a snook. It's either a snook or a bass. Oh, it's a big bass. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't want to break off. 
Guys, I got a good bath on. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I'm gonna get it up. My, my fluoro is not strong enough to handle this bath. <laughs> It's a good dad. It's so good. <laughs> oh, brings me back to my childhood. Oh, he inhaled that sucker. Oh, ready? Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let's go! What a bass! Woo! I was sitting right under that tree. Inhaled it. Guys, I was not expecting a bass this size to be back here compared to all those little ones. Today is definitely a bass day. I still want to try to catch that snook on top water, but what an epic fish. I was not expecting that at all. So cool. You know, normally I'm trying to target the biggest fish. I'm trying to be offshore, catch that sailfish or that billfish. Today, this is my billfish. <laughs> it put up a fight and I, I was so stoked to catch this guy. So we're gonna get him back in. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I want to try to catch another one of those. Oh, did you just see that hit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, what? is that another one of those doggy things? They fight hard and they strike really hard too. Look at the spots on it, on the tail. All right guys, I think we're gonna have to transition to that top water now. <laughs> we have Matt from Canada on the camera and figured before, <laughs> I figured before we switched that swim bait out to give him a shot and uh, he got some hits. We got a couple hits. We but... got a couple hits. And then uh, we got that that uh, snag that was underneath the tree that I was scared of this whole time. And look, that, that fish is just taunting you right yeah. there. <laughs> so we're going to switch out that uh, swim bait and uh, go for top water. All right, guys, we switched to top water. There is a significant snag right under that tree. That's where I want to fish because we've been getting hits there. So I switched to top water. We're going to throw under there. Maybe we'll find a snook. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. That's my top water. <laughs> I think I can get across there. I'll be right back. <laughs> I didn't want to lose my top water. <laughs> Big part of this trip, I really want to get a snook on top water. So, cast it, got it stuck on one of those cypress knees in the water. <sighs> I, I'm not giving up on my top water snook. So, I went for it, got across, and that little bit right there, about, I don't know, a foot to two feet away from that tree. It's just straight mud. It looks like it could be dry ground to, to step on. Nope. Straight up to the calf. But one thing that is great about these shoes <laughs> is that uh, it's porous, so the water just goes right through it. So I'm just gonna dip my feet in the water and try to get some of this mud off. Like, I don't, there's just something about not knowing and then it hitting. Same with jigging too. Oh gosh. But top water, fresh water, special. Special place in my heart. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. It was an epic day out here. Got a variety of fish, got some fish on the top water. I'm so glad I switched to that. It's hard when you're using a swim bait and it's working so well, but I'm so glad we did. Uh, guys, if you want more adventures like this, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. There's gonna be a lot more this summer. And just thank you so much. I appreciate your support. And uh, I think one thing we all learned today, always chase after your lure. All right, guys, this is fast number nine because we were just walking out. I was like, heck, I'm gonna throw a couple more times. Got another bass on the top water. It was wild. I don't know if we're gonna make it out of here. I, I just might say one more cast, one more time and be here until dark. But <laughs> we're gonna get him back in the water.